Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna look at this pod from Boston Dynamics. This is a robot which have been developed for years to make it commercial for a lot of applications where humans can't. Let's have a look into it. The sports development started in 2010 as a big dog for the military to support the soldiers to carry goods across the terrain and was funded by DARPA, which is an agency for US Defense Department, responsible for development of emerging technologies for use by military. Later, this big dog project got shelled as this is too noisy. Now, the company have been developed this pod for the use of various application in commercial activities like inspecting progress on construction sites, remotely inspecting facilities in oil and gas plants, and used in healthcare to triage patients, disinfect the rooms and deliver their foods and medicines to the patients. Recently, robots are now helping healthcare workers at Brigham and Women's better protect themselves while treating coronavirus patients. Boston Dynamics says that the robots are cutting back on the use of PPE, but could be capable of so much more. With that being said, let's move on to the features it's got. This robot has a top speed of 3 miles per hour, 360 degree obstacle avoidance, a swappable battery, carries up to 14 kilograms on its back operates in cold and hot temperatures and it's IP54 water and dust protected and interestingly if this tips over it can recover on its own. I think what else you need to help a human in a complex areas, in a complex situations. For developers there's an SDK available to create custom methods of controlling program autonomous missions by making use of the sensors built in and design payloads of your own to fit in with the spot. I know what you guys been thinking. Anyway, this pod can be controlled remotely by using the controller. And interestingly, this controller runs on Android. So you guys might ask, what's the price? Well, it's $74,500. And this also comes with accessories, which gives more computation power, more sensors to deal with specific applications. This pod robot mostly targeted for the industry and its commercial use and not for the day-to-day -day home activities because it has only a certain level of autonomy. Most of the time you need to control it to keep it moving. That's why they given the controller. And that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoy watching it. Thank you for watching. Do leave a like, comment and I'll try to answer as much as possible and subscribe to have more videos like this.